Well, hi there, humans, hippies, earthlings, blitz lovers from all over the globe. I'm Bushcron Blitz. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, and whoever you're doing it to, we're back today with another dose of love and affection uh, in the form of a bit of a guide, a tactical know-how in terms of focus fire. Now, I get a lot of questions that basically seem to think that you improve your win rate by becoming heroically gifted at carrying or getting good, all these kind of things. The easiest way to improve your win rate is to platoon up with someone, call targets, and hit them at the same time. And it sounds so mundane and so suburban, but the honest to God truth is that it is a lot easier to pull a game out of the fire when you're working in concert with another player, whether it be a platoon mate or someone that you've just found in the actual game itself. Uh, you can see here, Rich and I are going to pull this game out from two on five down to a win. And we're going to do it by using the power of double DPM. Now, it's not an incredible concept, but it seems to be something that escapes a lot of the player base. You can move about the area and absolutely spank people because two tanks doing damage to one tank at one time is a hell of a lot better than two tanks taking on two separate tanks at one time and trading shots. And you see this IS-8 gets one shot into me and then he pulls back, moves forward, pull back. He's confused. He only gets one shot. Rich and I basically take his entire hit point pull in the time it takes him to fire once and then reload. And that's why people start screaming about dual T-54s and dual T-62As and dual object 140s because they bring this incredible damage and mobility to the table. And if you want to use those kind of things, then you need to learn to focus fire. And that basically means you're going to call a target. Your platoon mate is going to acknowledge it, call the same target, and you're going to hit it at the same time. And that means for every one load that they get to shoot, you're generally going to be shooting two or three rounds into them. And that means that you can do that again and again and again before you run out of hit points because you're not only just calling the same target, you're sharing a hit point pool. And if you're smart about it and you start moving around and focusing your targets and giving different opportunities for them to hit, you'll be able to draw shots into a full hit point tank and then both come out and hit, even if you're, you know, companion, your companion, your, your comrade, your, your platoon mate is on a very low hit point pool. So it lets you utilize full damage. And I'm gonna show you here, this is with uh, Natty1978, another Metal Storm guy. Now you might see I'm in Grump now. It's basically the Metal Storm <laughs> old people's home. But, um, there's a bunch of us. We still hang out in the same chat groups and everything like that. And we're still very good mates with all the Storm boys. We're just in Grump, which is neither here nor there. Now Natty's a very good player. Um, and we're basically going to do exactly the same thing you saw with Rich, but even more so. Um, and you're going to see constant communication. Now, you, you only have a few means of communication here. We're not on uh, Discord or TeamSpeak, Natty and I. We're going to use the targeting button. We're going to use the reload buttons. We're going to use the attack buttons, all those kinds of things. And you're going to see that we're very, very successful doing it, even though... We flank pretty hard. We're going to lose most of our team by the time we get up the top. So it's going to be necessary for us to utilize our DPM. Now, the T-44 is not renowned for its quality of DPM. Great driving there, Bush. Uh, way to get in the way <laughs> of your platoon, mate. And that's basically my way of saying, I'm sorry. Um, it's not the best tank in terms of DPM. It's reasonable. It's right around the 2K mark, which for tier 8... Is certainly not spectacular. You're right there with most of your, a little bit above most of your heavy tanks, uh, below your TDs. You're certainly not anything special. But if you combine those two DPM factors, uh, the T44s, you're going to do very well. You've also got to be able to think, think on your feet. There's a T43 there, but we've seen better targets. There's a T44 down there. So I'm going to call a new target and start putting shots in the back. Now, I run into this Panther 2, I call him because he is obviously a tier 8 medium. Natty responds uh, and starts putting fire over this side as well, but we lose our targets, so I call attack. We're going to come up here and run into a KV-3. Now, the reason I also want to get rid of this KV-3 is because he's from a clan name I recognize, so that always goes towards 
uh, targeting priority. And you'll see as I'm hitting him, Natty's going to start hitting him as well. And he's only going to get one shot on me. I'm going to pull back. He's confused. It's very hard for him to find targets. Uh, and his hit point pull is going down at a rate of knots. Now we're going to move straight onto the T43 and we're going to focus fire him again. So he's going to come out. He's going to get another shot on me, but he's come out broadside anyway. Uh, he's a tier seven medium. He's up in trouble. Natty goes straight past him and he's into the next part. He's going to pull back because he's thinking that I've already finished him, but I haven't. Natty's going to finish him off and we're going to pick our next target. There we go, straight into the T29. I'm calling that target. Natty's going affirmative and we're focus firing. We lose that target. Now you're going to see here, I'll move up and we're actually going to disconnect for a tick uh, in a sec. But while I hold them, Natty is going to screw around and actually get shots into the targets from behind while I hold them. But we're still focus firing and sharing our hit point pool um, wherever possible. And you'll see here, Natty and I both in that T29 and he's gone, done and dusted. Now Natty's going to go left and I'm going to move up here. This is a disconnect and it cost me hit points. This is what I'm talking about. If you can actually focus fire and we're both on the Carnarvon, we'd be a lot better off. But as it is, I'm now hit point trading. Doesn't matter so much because we've already done enough damage and we're, we're, we're going to kill this guy. But I end up dying here and it's my fault because I should have followed Natty straight around when he made a strong move uh, and hooked up with him and we would have killed everyone and, and no one would have died. But as it was, we still did very, very well. Um, very, very simple stuff. It's not incredible. It's not rocket science. And one of the best things that people don't seem to realize is you can do this when you're in a platoon, but you can also do this in a standard game. If you see, you can be proactive about it. If you see someone engage another tank, move to put two guns onto one tank. And it's a far more efficient way of dealing with life when you're absolutely smacking double DPM into one target. The general rule of thumb is if you can share your hit points out and and focus fire at the same time, you can take out multiple tanks uh, without really taking on board too much damage. And once you get used to the play style of another person like I am with say Snake Eyes or Chapos, uh, or, or even Natty, who's a very, very good platoon mate. Um, you will find yourself constantly being successful despite superior odds. And and that's kind of where it comes in. If you want to get a better win rate and you want to be a better player, you've got to be a better teammate. And it's not just about platoons. It's, it's why you're playing in public games as well. Look for ways to actually bring extra firepower to bear on single targets. And then when you've knocked off that target, look for another target that you can help with. Prioritize your targeting. You'll see there where we were going through, we were hitting the higher tier targets first before we moved on to the sevens and sixes. Uh, we changed from a 43 to a, a Panther two. We changed from that straight to a KV three before we went to a 43. I went to the Carnarvon, Natty went for the Kuro Moro Mini. Um, but there'll be situations like that. You can't always be perfect. Uh, anyway, if you do want to listen to a very interesting podcast, listen to the Tank Boom Boys. They do a podcast called The Ruthless Maths of World of Tanks. I'm not sure it's one of their episodes uh, on Tank Boom, but it is absolutely fantastic. And I might put it down in the, uh, in the description of the video here. As always, guys, make sure you like, uh, you subscribe, you comment. If you are interested, hit Patreon. Love to get more. Um, support for the channel. It helps me no end in my quest to be a better Blitz video maker. I'm Bushcom Blitz. You've been bloody lovely. Stay safe on the battlefield.